So this is the beginning of the pig pit construction. Its bottom is lined with red brick and then the sides are all red brick on the fire pit which is at the bottom. And you see here is the beginning of the, the air intakes. Those are four inch galvanized stove pipe that come down a 90 degree angle <laughs> roughly and then uh, punched a ton of holes in it. Right in front of those pipes, what I did was I only bricked in with half brick, <clears throat> excuse me, so air can come down those pipes and then down into the bottom of the pit. Then I used some more stove pipe uh, cut in half and, and hooded those pipes and then bricked those edges uh, right into the pit itself so those pipes will never fill up with dirt or water. Then once I hit ground level, it came up uh, and widened it out a little bit with cinder block. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't finished the skinning the outside, but that's aesthetic. The red bricks at the very front and around the sides, but that'll just be kind of decoration. And that's the inside of the pit. You can see that black bar, that's three quarter inch uh, steel pipe sitting on these little ledges. That's how I will support the pig once it goes in. Uh, Friday morning and it just stopped raining uh, we got the pit with rocks I'm gonna get a fire going see if we can get this thing dried out a little bit and uh, see if we can cook a pig well it's uh, about 1030 uh, we got a pretty good fire going in here took forever to get the fire lit but uh, Looks like we're cooking now. Uh, the sun is hopefully going to maybe try to peek out. Doesn't look too promising though. It's uh, kind of gross out still. They're saying it's not supposed to rain anymore. Maybe a thunderstorm late tonight, but once the pig's in here, it doesn't matter. Keep our fingers crossed. So this is the uh, construction of the new pit lid. So. The well, one thing you didn't see on that lid is I actually lined all four of those little quadrants there with sheet metal and then popped a stove pipe through to make the chimney. So it sat right on top and it's basically like an oven door. Uh, that is, I don't know, he said a little over 200 so I'm guessing, I don't know, 205, 210, somewhere in there. It's a big ass pig. Uh, getting ready to roll it up in the burlap and we'll hopefully get in the pit. Alright, next step, got all the cabbage laid out on the chicken wire and we're going to roll the pig up and make a big pig package. Alright, pit's ready, that thing's fired up. we got a couple bunch of bags of charcoal going in. Pig package is rolled up, ready to go. we got the chains on it so we can put it on the pig stretcher and she's going in. Oh, pig is in. Look at that. Thing of beauty. So now, uh, throw some hickory in there, throw the lid on, and uh, time to cook. Mission accomplished. We're actually cooking now. So I'll let that fire up just a little bit, and then I'll go and get some aluminum foil, put it on the two air takes, dampen it down a little bit, and let it roast for 24 hours. I did not touch that pit lid until the following morning about 11.30. Popped it off, took a temp of the pig, and it was more than done, and then I just let it go again. Never had to add any more charcoal, nothing. Here it goes. I think it's on. Good, how you doing? Good. Oh, uh, we got a pause for intermission. I'm not a gambler. That's enough. <laughs> I'm a pig. 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 i you guys have gloves too? No, no, it's only he's going down for the chain. Right, I have no feeling with my two fingers so I can grab it. The chain, man. Where are we going? Oh, sorry. Where are we going with this? Uh, what we're going to do is it's going to go up onto the side and then just right here on the floor, on the ground, 
and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that cover on, and then we'll put it on top. And then you pick it up and put them on the Okay, so we need one of them on that. Yeah, we, yeah, we need, need a couple of guys on that. Uh-oh. Don't you have like a bow point or something? I'm sorry. I thought, you guys, if you guys are seriously gonna call you. We got a pine tree here. I know. You just lift it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the problem is the way that these chains are so long that we're gonna have to like I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna. Self-appointed videographer. Yeah, what's it going on though? Once we gonna have a problem. Well, we yeah, got what's going on here. Yeah. Yeah. This is like that's when you're doing as high as I can We get just want to work. Kill a bunch of pigs. Okay, we got we got bodies there. We got bodies over here. I got it. Up and onto the edge. Oh, no! I know. Come on, come on. Come on, come Come this way. Come my way. Come my way. Don't cut Frank in half. Frank. Alright, watch out back. You can't see. Alright, now swing that because you guys are on the pipe. Perfect. Get a little fat running out of that. Perfect. What was the point of that? Sorry. All right, take it. One big fork and two regular forks. That's fine. Oh, thank God. I'm putting them over here. Oh, you can't do this money if you go Hot pig. Damn hot pig. Skin roasted up nice too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, it's not yet. I want that. Yeah, thank you. I Right. Oh, you don't believe this. Oh, yeah. It comes right off. Trust me. But yeah, if you want to shred that up, that'd be awesome. In addition to the pig, we had 15 pounds of homemade andouille sausage that I smoked for about four or five hours in a big smoker. It was fantastic. Burgers, dogs, tons of sides. Then we had, uh, I think, 13 different home brews. Um, There's six there Dunkel, Rum Barrel Cider, American Amber, Damp Beer, Kolsch, IPA. Um, we had a bunch of stuff on Cobra Taps as well. There were all the the loose kegs, although that's not all of them. We had a wheat, an ESB on Cobra Tap. Uh, we also had a uh, Imperial IPA on a beer engine. That was great. Uh, don't know how I don't have a picture of that. We had Pliny the Elder clone, uh, a Saison on those two taps there. Uh, we also had a commercial keg, a commercial keg of Duchess de Bourillon, if I'm pronouncing it right, the Flanders Red, and that was unbelievable. Imperial Pills. Yorkshire Bitters, um, so we had a bunch of stuff. I'm not even sure how much that is. I'll have to count it all up, but 13, 14 beers, and unfortunately, we did have a Bud Light for, for the quote-unquote common folk. So after 200 pounds of pig and a whole bunch of great home brews, the best thing to do at that point is jump on the 50, 60-foot homemade slip and slide. <laughs> That's disgusting, Bri. I got money. Oh, that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> now you hurt me! I'm sorry. And that's how you roast a pig. The right way. <laughs>